riding off into the sunset did you really think that I was gonna be content riding off into the sunset when DWI officials announced the closing the drawing of an ear to the DWI and I most certainly could But then I thought to myself, I couldn't look at myself in the mirror knowing that shenanigan would and had gotten the better of me. I wish I could sit here and say Ben and DWI that it wasn't personal, it was just business. But then again, I would be lying. I would be lying to sit here and say it wasn't personal. How many times did you think I was going to sit back and listen to how RD, you'll get them next time. Shenanigan can't keep you down forever. It didn't have to keep me down forever. Shenanigan just had to keep me down until the end of the DWI. You know what's really funny, Ben, I heard you say that I was pathetic if I was holding on to a grudge from what had happened in the past, and that isn't even close to being true, Ben. I became angry with you, first of all. When we first made our debuts at Shenanaganza, and we had a little encounter in that, and even when we had front row seats to that very first world title match, I sat back and I told myself, you know what, that guy's going to be something special here in the DWI, that guy's going to make an impact. And I was right, wasn't I, Ben? You want title after title after title. And I sat back and I told myself that my time would come. That a championship would come around to the RD. And he was right. But you're not a champion until you make a title defense. And before I could defend that title, well, we all know the end of that story. But even then, Ben, I had a certain amount of admiration for you, a certain amount of respect, because you were going to do what was right for the DWI. 
when you and the kid were gonna face off against the hide. And when Dwayne of the Dead came out and attacked the kid, the RD did what was right for the DWI. The Gold Rush era had come to a close. Shenanigans were getting even higher for the RD. The frustration, the anger, that I just couldn't win the big one. Then I win GM for a night. And with Lethal Injection's blessing, the RD cashes in an opportunity to become world's heavyweight champion. And all the RD wanted was a fair opportunity. <laughs> Where did that get me? Once again, getting screwed over by shenanigan. I'm still thinking, there's time. I'll get my chance. And then, I become involved into one of the best rivalries the DWI will have ever seen. Myself and Dwayne of the Dead. And might I add, a very painful rivalry. A rivalry that would put the RD on the shelf. That Death Star laser, it didn't just hurt. It awakened the eyes of the RD. You see, Ben, I became very angry with you because you took everything for granted. You and so I made my accusation about the SOS. I made my accusation that the SOS was lethal injection. I knew better. See, I approached lethal injection. Triple H game 99 in the dock and I asked him about the opportunity and before I could even ask anything further Triple H game 99 held his hand up smiled at me and he knew I had it he knew I knew what opportunity was all about And now you talk about Ben, how we didn't finish you off. That was on my behalf. You see, Ben, I haven't changed. I'm still the same RD with the same drive, the same passion that I have when I walked into the DWI. But when I face you, one last time I don't want any excuses I don't want you to sit there and to cry and a bitch about how lethal injection injured you so Ben one last time the newest member and the lethal predator RD versus the lone wolf Big Ben and I know you'll accept my challenge because you're too naive not to oh you gotta prove now that this predator has a beat down coming. Shenanigans in, shenanigans out. Prepare for the R D K 
Oh, 